All right, so this is gonna be a video about atomic structure. Basically, this video is gonna be answering the question, what are atoms made of and how are atoms arranged? So matter is made of atoms, but what are atoms made of? For a long time, scientists thought that atoms were as small as you can go in terms of breaking down matter. However, after some time and some clever experiments by scientists, they figured out that atoms themselves are made up of other smaller things. These things are called subatomic particles. Sub meaning smaller than, and atomic meaning related to the atom. So subatomic just means smaller than the atom. The three main subatomic particles that we're going to be covering in chemistry are the proton, electron, and neutron. An easy way to remember these is it spells out the word pen. Protons and neutrons make up the nucleus or the center of the atom. Electrons are on the outside spinning around the nucleus. Let's start with protons. A proton has the symbol of a lowercase p with a plus sign in the upper right corner. The plus sign represents the charge of the proton, which is plus one. Its mass is extremely small compared to everyday things. Because of this, scientists have given it a different unit of mass called the atomic mass unit. This makes it easier to say masses of atoms and subatomic particles. The number of protons that an atom has represents what's called its atomic number. This is important and is usually the top number in the periodic table for each element. It is extremely difficult to change this number in normal everyday matter. We will talk about more of this later. The number of protons, or the atomic number, is the soul of the atom. It basically gives the atom its identity. For example, if an atom has 79 protons in it, then it will always be gold, no matter what. If an atom has 59 protons, then it is always praseodymium. On to neutrons. A neutron has a symbol of a lowercase n with a zero in the upper right corner. The zero represents the charge of the neutron, which is zero, or sometimes called neutral. The mass of the neutron is roughly the exact same as the mass of a proton. The neutron is a little bit more, but overall it's pretty negligible. Although they are neutral, neutrons play a huge role in keeping atomic nuclei stable. We're going to cover this more later. Let's talk about electrons. Electrons have a symbol of a lowercase e with a minus sign in the upper right corner. The minus sign represents the charge of the electron, which is negative one. The mass of an electron is negligible as it would take over 1800 electrons to equal the mass of one proton. Given that most electrons that an atom can have is about 120, the mass of an electron is just generally ignored. To put it in perspective, an electron weighed the same as a penny, a proton would weigh the same as a gallon of milk. The biggest impact that an electron has on an atom is its charge, its size, because electrons are on the outside of the atom, as well as the reactivity. These will be discussed more later. Now let's think about the arrangement of the atom. It is extremely difficult to create a scale model of an atom. The reason for this is that the relative sizes of each subatomic particle is dramatically smaller than the distances between the nucleus and the electrons. The diameter of a nucleus is about 10 to the negative 14th meters. The diameter of an atom is about 10 10 to the negative 10th meters. This means that an atom is about 10,000 times bigger than its center. To put this in terms that might be easier to understand, let's say that a nucleus is represented by a basketball. The electron would have to be smaller than a grain of sand to be in that same scale. The distance between the nucleus basketball and the grain of sand electron would have to be about two miles to accurately show the relative distances and sizes of each of the subatomic particles. This is the reason you cannot make an adequate scale model of the atom. Imagine a place two miles away from somewhere you know well. Imagine a basketball at that place and a grain of sand two miles away. At two miles away, you wouldn't be able to see the basketball or the grain of sand for that matter. If you did a view from above, it would be impossible to get a basketball and a grain of sand in the same view and still have the basketball and grain of sand be visible themselves. Besides being difficult to model, this also implies that an atom is mostly empty space. There is nothing between the nucleus and the electron. To put a number on it, an atom is about 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999